Now let's head over to the GIMP. I don't know if he's terrified or happy, but he'll probably die happy. Very soon, from the looks of the size of her feet. Anyway, so we're going to go to File. We're going to open. Only I had it open recently, so we're going to open recently. Subscribers.pdf. We're going to select all, because we want to open all the pages. We want to open these as images as opposed to separate layers. We want the width to be 1280, because we're going to be doing this as HDTV. Resolution, this is going to default to like 150. Go ahead and crank it up about 300 per inch. Let's make this look nice. Click Import. Now we've got two pages of credits here. So 1275 by 1650. 1650 times 2 is 3300. So we want to make a new image. 1280 by 3300. Our advanced options, we want to have a transparent background. We want to click OK. And there we have it. So we're going to go to Layer, make a new layer, defaults to transparency, so we're good. We're going to do a Control A and C on our first page. Go over here, V. Let's drag this up to the top. Let's bring it in a little bit so we can do some fine tuning. Whoops, too far. There we go. Now we're going to anchor that layer, make a new layer. I'm going to call. Scroll down here, and same thing, Control A, C, Control V to paste, and let's drag this down, make it match up real nice. That looks good to me. Let's get this to where we can see it all, and we are going to anchor that layer too. Okay, now we want this to be one layer to work with. Let's right click. Merge down. Now this is all one layer. And we want this to be transparent um, so that, you know, if we don't have anything behind it, it's going to have a black background or we can project it across, you know, any kind of funky, cool thing we want to do. So, what we're going to do here, let's go over, select by color tool. We're going to select the black and delete it. And it looks really crappy now, but if we zoom down in it, you'll see it's actually pretty good. So this suits our purposes. We're going to save it. File. Save as. And we want to save this as a PNG file. So let's say credits.png. GIMP will automatically convert this to the proper format once it sees that extension. So let's click on Save. Yeah, replace it because I cheated. And let's just go ahead and flatten it. And compression level, let's set that down to zero so that we get the best fidelity out of it. And Save. Okay, we're done with this part. quit. Just got changes on everything, so I don't want to save it. And let's tell Gigantica goodbye and go over here to Cinelera. Alright, we have got a project set up. All we need to do is go up here to load files, load our credits, and you see them right over here. So we are going to make sure we are at the beginning of our project. I'm going to right click on this, paste it into our timeline. And there we go. 
and we want to make sure we've got enough time for it to scroll across that it doesn't look hurried. Let's go for like 55 seconds. We're going to enable our keyframes. And I told you this was a real powerful tool you were going to use a lot. Adjust the camera automation, show the tool info. At the beginning of our project here, we are going to want these to be off the screen in this direction. There they are. Now, very important, we want to keep these centered, so we're going to make sure that the X coordinates for the camera are zero. That's our start point. Let's go to the end of our project. Go back a couple of frames just to make sure we're still on the timeline. And we're going to scroll it in the opposite direction. Again, we're going to zero out the X. We're going to highlight everything. And, yeah, you got it right. Straighten those key curves. And this is what we got. Nice professional looking scrolling credits that we could stick on the end of our project. And it's as simple as that. So, special shout out to all you guys who've been subscribing to me recently. And apologies if I left anyone out. And I hope you enjoyed this little trick and can put it to use. And I will see you again soon for some new little tricks.